Hey there y'all, got my hair cut, I'm looking good. Getting over my, uh, my cold that I've had in the past couple of days. I got my football on in the other room. The uh, European football, not the American bro ball we have here in the States. Anyway, I was out walking my dog this morning. I saw on the side of the path a couple chunks of cords. I was like, that would go perfect in my five gallon that I'm setting up. Uh, so I grabbed them. And you should have seen this side. It was pouring rain. I had rocks in one hand and my dog's leash in the other. And it was just, it was a mess. But it, it was hilarious, that's for sure. Anyway, I wanted to show you how to prepare a uh, rocks. And you could even translate this over to driftwood uh, for or to be aquarium safe. Um, the best thing to do to anything you're adding to your aquarium that you find out in the backyard or anywhere is boil it. This will take out anything living on it that could be harmful to your uh, to your inhabitants, and it'll just clean it, purify it, sterilize it, do all that good stuff. Um, also, a thing to think about is pH, what it will do, uh, or how it will affect the pH. A uh, good test for rocks is take a little bit of uh, an acid like vinegar or uh, I can't really think, a any acid really, lemon juice, that, that's an acid, uh, and just put a little bit on it and if it starts bubbling then you know it, uh, that the rock is basic and there's an acid base reaction going on making or uh, putting off a gas and making water. Uh, anyway, if that's happening then you know that the rock is basic and will raise pH. Uh, so like depending on what you have in the tank, uh, cichlids uh, for instance like higher pH, I believe dwarf puffers even maybe, I, mean, I haven't researched them too heavily but anyway uh, that would end up raising the pH. Um, to continue with the uh, pr preparation of these rocks I've got a toothbrush here I'm going to scrub them down some more. There's really, I, I took care of most of it, but uh, it's just like a little piece of the dirt and stuff. Um, uh, what else? I've got some scissors or something to scrape at them, but it's really, once you boil them, they're pretty much safe to go in the fish tank. It takes away all the, the bad bacteria and everything in there that you don't want mixing in. Anyway, shout out to uh, fishtanktv.com, all the guys there.